Hello, uh, everybody and professor. My name is Tan Kheng Ling and welcome to my uh, video blog today. And, and I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the sustainable development goal. I'll be specifically talk about the goal number four, which is about the quality of education. Ever since the global pandemic of coronavirus has hit the world in the early 2020, Cambodia country as well as the other country has faced an economic crisis and not only that, it also heavily affects the education system. The school has been closed in response to stop the spread of the COVID-19 and all the classes has been tackled online ever since March 2020. And this new study method is believed by most people that it affects the learning outcome of every student. And, it's, and I myself as this student and out of my own experience, I like to confirm this claim and because it's very hard to keep our concentration and usually get distracted from time to time. This is the footage of me studying as this week is the final week of the semester where every regular class has been con discontinued but I have to complete all the remaining assignments and I have to study for the upcoming exam. And this is the new study method that everybody try to get rid of. And one of many reasons why it's, it's not effective for most of us is because we've been locked up in our house or our bedroom. We may be safe physically from the virus, but we are not mentally on correct spot. And we should engage in some activity that help ease us from the study stressor and help us rejuvenate. Or maybe we should take some quick nap because resting is very important and after we wake up we may be fresher than, before, than ever before and it, it helps us concentrate better in our class. Or maybe we can play some of our favorite video game because it's fun, we will be able to pay much more attention to our online class after that. Or maybe we can do some aerobic exercise or some home workout because that will boost our immune system and this activity will make us rejuvenate and improve our concentration during our class time. Most of the students decided to drop out of the school or take a gap year ever since, since the spring semester last year because they want to avoid this, this nightmare of online learning. And I was about to do the same because I don't like online learning either. Uh, but what stopped me was the thinking of we do not know exactly when this nasty, lousy virus will come to an end. And that was one year ago. One year later, we still talk to the computer screen in uh, the ring of a class. We do not know how long it will last. Maybe it will last for 20 years, who knows? And rather than complaining and moaning about it, how difficult it is to study online. Why don't we find a solution to solve, to overcome this problem? It's all come from us, it all come from ourselves. Um, it come from our commitment, our determination, how high we determine to study. And this is what the whole world has to go through, what we all have to go through. Whether, whether you like it or not, but you are forced to accept it. 
and it is what it is. Thank you.